A 60-year-old woman has been able to see her partner for the first time in more than a decade, thanks to Australian First Surgery at Sydney Eye Hospital. And doctors hope to be able to use the procedure to restore sight to many more. Marie Robinson and Ray Cable are high school sweethearts. But despite spending every day together, until recently Marie hadn't seen her partner in 15 years. It's like starting life all over again. The 60-year-old has a genetic condition called aniridia, which affects her sight. While corneal transplants using tissue from human donors can help, Marie has been unlucky. Marie had had two previous corneal transplants in this eye and both of them had failed. That's when surgeons at Sydney Eye Hospital decided to try out a new artificial device. We felt that the rest of her eye was healthy enough that when we replaced the front part, the, uh, the damaged part in the cornea, that she would have a chance of seeing a little better. Known as a Boston keratoprosthesis, it's about the same size and shape as a collar button. Made up of a front plate which holds a donor cornea, back plate and titanium ring. During surgery, the existing cornea is removed and replaced with the new device. Marie will have to continue having regular checkups and take antibiotic drops for the rest of her life. But says it's a small price to pay to be able to see again. It's good to go out in my garden and see roses and that for the first time. As for Marie and Ray, it's love at first sight all over again. When I had it done and I could see him, I said to him, oh, you're still as nice as I pictured. Kate Creedon, Nine News.